Hey guys, Wire here. Um, we're going to do this um, this framing clamp here. Um, you guys know I have a, a shop in, in a flea market um, up the road from 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 where I live. Um, I have a key store up there, and across the uh, across from my from my shop, it's on the other side of the building. Uh, there's these two young ladies that. Um, they restore pictures and, and, and frames and, and things of that sort. And um, they wanted me to fix this. And uh, I told them, I said, well, you know, I'd like to do a, a video on restoring this. And they were really happy with that. So what I did is, is they lent this to me for about a week or so. I want to clean it up, take it apart, restore it, paint it back up, and make this thing look brand new. It's a Stanley number 400. Um, of, framing vise and this was built in 1890 well the patent was in 1890 these aren't original handles on it uh, the original handles look more like the um, old uh, spigot handles they used to have uh, uh, on the side of houses somebody made these and these are aluminum I'm not sure if they had aluminum back in the 1890s I have to look that up but uh, anyway they're a little loose they're kind of really wore in, so uh, we're going to take this all apart and clean it up and make this look brand new. We'll be right back.
Hey guys, um, it's all taken apart. I'm gonna tell you, man, back in the day, man, when they built something, they built it. They built it to make it hard to come apart. And uh, I'm pretty sure somebody else worked on this at one time because it had roll pins in it. And I don't think they had roll pins in 1890 or even the early 1900s for that matter. And like I said, these are all aluminum handles. I couldn't get this one off, so I think we'll just leave that one on. Or I might try to hit it off from the inside. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the um, in the uh, uh, parts washer because I've got the grease from there in there, and we're going to let it sit for a day and try to get all this rust and, and some of this paint off. I don't think this is paint. I think it's Japanning. So I don't know how that's going to work. I'm just going to paint it. So um, we'll see how it is. Anyway, today's Monday. So we're gonna pick this back up tomorrow and um, we'll work on it tomorrow. There's a lot of, of dried glue on it and everything. I'm pretty sure the um, the degreaser will get that off when I get these all cleaned up. So anyway, fellas, uh, I'll catch you guys uh, tomorrow, which is only two minutes from now for you guys. Anyway, I'll uh, see you later. This is Wire. <laughs>
are waiting for the paint to dry. Uh, let's go through some of the history of this thing. Uh, this was uh, invented by a guy named Horace Marsh. Uh, and yet later on, Stanley picked it up. Uh, it was um, patented in 1890. And you can see this is the original patent. Um, in the next picture, uh, we'll see the patent picture. And then um, the following picture here, we, um, we have um, some diagrams when Stanley picked it up. And this last picture here is what it actually looks like. The one that I'm doing doesn't look like this. Someone else uh, worked on it after me because it doesn't have the original handles on it. Hey everybody. Okay, we're all done. Um, today's Wednesday, but it's a week later. It's 10 days later from when we started. Um, went well. I had a little problem with the base here. I, I painted it and uh, it didn't set too well. I had, so I had to re-strip it down and um, paint it all over. But here it is right here. It turned out real nice. Um, I put some thicker washers on here because the other ones were wore down. And actually I put a I put um, a wash right here and a um, O-ring, so um, it'll keep a little tension on this so uh, on these um, clamps before it would move back and forth, and it was way out, so it's a little tighter. Uh, I found that this um, this rod here was a little bent, so uh, it's not hard turning, but it's a little bit of resistance in it, but. It's it's a hell of a lot better. Anyway, um, let's try it out.
is lined up on the middle. I believe it's missing the center point to this thing, but it does a good job. I know the ladies that use this, they've got a real nice one um, from Sweden. It's four standing, but they seem to like this one better. There you go now. This is not butted off. I cut this on a hand miter, so it's not really accurate, but it holds that nice and tight, ready to frame up, and it works real well. Anyway, fellas, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and uh, I'll catch you the next time. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing the next time. I might even do that old hand, hand, uh, uh, hand miter that, that I used to cut this. So. I believe it's an old Craftsman. Uh, it's all rusted and everything, so uh, maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. This is Wire. See ya!